Hello friends, I'm Dyslexiactic, joined by future friends. And I have to say fuck horses. And we're gonna get real horse related up on ya. With Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. <laughs> Here's no exposition whatsoever, by the way. So that's Barbie riding side saddle on a Pegasus Welcome with a polar bear. Uh, so anyways, uh, Barbie's not actually the star of this game. Uh, or she doesn't go by Barbie. And in our specific situation, uh, she also doesn't go by what the game suggests. So we're gonna actually play Steven in the Magic of Pegasus. Uh, we're also going to talk over all the tutorializing. It's horrible. But here's the uh, first cinematic. Brietta, what is it? What's wrong? Barbie, do you take my dress blends with default floor? Annika, shiver. This is Rayla, the Cloud Queen. He's turned on. You guys are seeing this talking horse too, right? If she doesn't marry him. He'll never turn them back. Turn the king and queen to Oh yeah, the mouth animations are pretty oh great. Oh my god. <laughs> are these fish people? Is this what Lovecraft talked about? <laughs> so there's uh, Steven. Also, look at that troll on the left. <laughs> I'm amazed that this child looks somehow older than all the others. Only when she told Winlock she wouldn't marry him. Kill me. <laughs> I wasn't even given arm animations. Also, there's some really good shit coming up with the polar bear in the background. And he did. We have to save them. They are our parents, Brietta. There has to be a way. Oh yeah, well... Oh god, that creep. The Wand of Light? It is the one way to break Winlock's spell. The Wand of Light has the most power... Look how starchy those sleeves are. So powerful, it overcomes all evil magic. They're an entryway into a different dimension. <laughs> she has a ninja star stuck in her head. Plus <laughs> <laughs> assassination attempt. These three things are supposedly found in the. There's a polar bear. <laughs> there is again. You forgot to mention this. This game took place in the moon, by the way. Ring it if you need help. By the way, here's a bell to call your manservant whenever you need to see fit. We'll need to find her before we can set out on our adventure. Why don't you look for Shiver while I head to the Pegasus quarters? Meet me there when And get you hella find. drunk. <laughs> uh, so, for some reason our polar bear ran off. <clears throat> as it always does. And so we have to find the polar bear. Sorry, this game is probably going to cause motion sickness as well. <laughs> Why do we have to find a trained killer animal? <laughs> so we have to find the polar bear and then we have to find our ice skates which the polar bear hid. What a fucking asshole. I'm gonna preface this by saying Shiver, who's the polar bear, has the most annoying voice acting ever, as shown here. <laughs> Ice skates! Shiver knows! Shiver knows! <laughs> its mouth doesn't even move. What kind of thing is this? Ice skates! Shiver knows! Um, so I'll just explain what happened in the cinematic if you didn't catch it. <laughs> uh, so Barbie, who is Annika, or something like that, is Steven. Uh, had her parents turned into stone by the evil wizard Wenlock because she wouldn't marry him. Uh, so she came here on her Pegasus, Brietta, to the Cloud Kingdom <laughs> to figure out how to solve it. Uh, Brietta is her Pegasus, but in the opening cinematic she learns that Brietta is actually her sister turned into a Pegasus. I don't know how she never knew that. What the fuck is wrong with wizards now in this universe? The and the skates, we can explore the Cloud Kingdom. Will Who are you talking to? to the forest while we learn to ride, ice skate, and fly. So now we're just going to enter the tutorial sections, um, or I'll run outside to them. But yeah, so the way to to get our parents back and to Brietta to be back as, to a sister and not a Pegasus is we have to get the ice wand or something. Actually, no, we have to power walk. <laughs> we have to get like the, uh, ice gem, uh, like the rod of light, and then like the ring of... Uh, fantastical wanderlust or something akin to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see there's different tutorial sections. Now, the real key here is you have to go figure skating first, or else you cannot continue the game. Wait, what? It's glitched? Yeah, you have to do all three tutorials before you can leave, I think. I might be wrong, actually. But uh, once you get on the horse, it doesn't teach you how to get off a horse at the start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is one of the ways we travel between worlds. 
or kind of how we travel in the world. Uh, and there's more you can do than just skating. We're also collecting things that will help us customize our castle. If you skate long enough, you'll see any of the station rounds. <laughs> and uh, we won't. The things we're collecting, we won't see till the very end of the game, um, and they're completely not worth it. So I'm glad I was really concerned about them. So this is the exciting game. I'm glad we did this as the second game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this has a story, and I promise to get some real bullshit out of the story. Uh, so now that we've done the ice skating, we have to go get our horse. I mean, our sister. Poor sister, it's the same thing. <laughs> Coming to TLC this season, horse sisters. When you visit the Pegasus quarters, you can use the brush to make breathing. Uh, so this is like a Tamagotchi thing that you can do in the stable that has no actual benefits whatsoever. When you're ready to leave. Do you think Barbie's sister ever thinks this is fucking patronizing Barbie? Hey, did you ever think that maybe Steven would want the apple? Nope. <laughs> I think he's more of a carrot man. Nope. She just eats through one go. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. God, I hate when shit like this is added to games. It's so meaningless. Shit, I hate it when my horse just says, Mmm, delicious! <laughs> <laughs> I hate when my uh, Wenlock turns my sister into a horse. Never trust fucking wizards, man. One day they'll ask for your hands in MRT, other they'll turn your siblings into a horse. Wow. I figure I get Steven some brushing in there too. <laughs> so dumb. Beautiful. Uh, so whenever you leave the sable, you are now on your Pegasus. We have to break Wenlock's spell. And that opens up the pe Pegasus tutorial things. Let's be honest, I think at this point Stephen doesn't want to break the yes, wizard spell because she enjoys having a horse way too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pegasus sister. Oh wait, no. I didn't say that. <laughs> Please don't post about that in the thread. <laughs> um, so this is flying. This is another way that we traverse in the, the world at large. But um, what you'll notice is, you see that star path that we're following? Mm -hmm. If you just press forward, you will naturally churn to the curvature of that path, so you don't actually have to do anything oh. for these sections. Um, later in the game, there's some things to avoid and stuff like that. But uh, if you, you start right on the line, and if you just press forward, you'll hug the line the entire time, even when it turns. Man, wouldn't it be fucked up if all the clouds were hearts or not? <laughs> you guys are seeing these heart clouds, right? Look at the castle. Look how tall it is compared to like where the tracks are outside. Great job. Please tell me this is actually the game's equivalent to like Rainbow Road or something. <laughs> uh, also, look at like how uh, desynced our movement speed is compared to like the wing animations. Oh, and the fact that the, for some reason the Pegasus continues the gallop. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had finished. Of course, it's all horse, all bird. I don't know what the fuck it is. Now, you know what would be really exciting? What? Is if we went flying again on our Pegasus. <laughs> I'll probably speed this up or something, but I will say that the reason I did this was I wanted to see how far away from the line you could get. And it turns out this far. <laughs> That's the answer to my question. Thugging a time capsule when rappers actually factual. Mean as shit you spit might cause killers to come and clap at you. Stupid goofy stoolie to Gucci and Gucci and slap you. When that go for the cock kissing cats that's in the back. They all sweet as little Richard Dank. Good God of Molly. It make a nigga like me go woo and rob the ball. So anyways, you can still finish the level at the very far end. So the third tutorial is jumping. If auto jump is on, just guide Brietta and Annika toward the jump and Brietta will automatically clear it. So if you didn't hear that, uh, the game told me that auto jump is on. So you can set it to have a manual jump button or you can just do it like I did where you just have to run forward. Uh, but if you're not going fast enough, I think I might show what happens, but uh, if you're not going fast enough, you will not actually clear a jump. You get a lot of positive reinforcement though. Right, excellent jumping. Great Don't job. patronize me, Steven. <laughs> Great job pressing forward. <laughs> uh, so now that we've done all three, we can now finally... Uh, so you can see the actual world opens up. And that's where Shiver was sitting before. Shiver was sitting! 
We're going to the forest, as you can tell by whatever that fucking emblem is supposed is to be. Is that Jello? Is that some <laughs> sort of Jello lasagna? <laughs> now Shiver's in our backpack. Because, of course, Shiver's in our backpack. You know, it's kind of wrong that these parts just remind me of, like, one gameplay element in Blades of Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. I don't even know the point, because that's how far we had to go. And now we're going to go to the spooky forest. We need to hurry. We don't Why? need to hurry. Why do we need to hurry? <laughs> we have to break Wenlock's spell. Oh. Steven took a long time formulating that. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to fake out the emblems. Alright, so now we're in the spooky forest. Reminds you of Dark Souls, doesn't it? I'm no longer in love with Dark Souls anymore. You can't fucking convince me that this game is art. <laughs> it reminds you of Dark Souls if it loaded so fast that none of the textures came with it. It reminds me of Dark Souls in that I can play a polar bear. Uh, so this is one of many times where Brietta, our Pegasus sister, oh god, I said it again, um, our Pegasus sister, for some reason just says that she can't walk through and she'll fly around and meet us on the other side, instead of flying us to the other side. Use the arrow. I have to catch up on my show, Stephen. I'll see you later. <laughs> so now we're playing some Silent Hill shit. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Whenever a Steven is running, if you pay really close attention and look at his legs, uh, you'll see that they never actually modeled any legs. It's just boots Let's and then thin going. air. We need to find the you can kind of oh see it God. here really well, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Um, so in this point, this is something we're going to see again later too, is we're supposed to follow Shiver. And so this is, of course, what I did right off the bat. <laughs> I like to make sure I provide 100% LPs only. Oh yeah, of course. Like, I usually just go around force and just put signs in that's just a wing emblem. Let's follow Shiver. She knows where she's going. Uh, so, I don't think you can actually progress unless you actually follow Shiver. Which is great, because I love hearing Shiver's voice acting. Why call your cute polar bear Shiver? That sounds like a fucking cutthroat pirate's name. Oh god, Shiver. Um, I don't know if you'll remember this, but uh, later on in this game, you'll see there's a part where Shiver actually gets cold, and Shiver's a fucking polar bear. <laughs> and that gets me really mad, too. Also, look at Shiver's goddamn movement. Shiver knows the way! I'm, knows the way. I'm amazed by this fucking voice acting. Holy shit, it's like somebody got <laughs> really drunk like we are right now. <laughs> So if you follow Shiver, we'll go to the end Shiver, of the spooky over forest. Here. Shiver over here! Oh god, Shiver, stop. I think this is it. We did it. We found our way through And the our fucking forest. horse is already the there. Forest is a dark place, but our Just pissing away. against this tree or whatever horses do. Yeah, so now every time we see a golden tree, we can use we some for some reason have to use a golden tree to get on and off of our horse. What? Yeah. That, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, so now we're approaching... Oh god, the Shire? I remember his name. Look, there's a shack over there. I wonder who lives there. It's a man named Ferris. Oh, there you go, Ferris. Ferris the Jewel Thief. Bueller Ferris! <laughs> Perfect place to look Can we trade Shiver in and get some Let's sweet go. gems or something? Ah, uh, so this is like a little area. To get off a of Pegasus, find a golden tree. Yeah, so there they're just explaining. They're explaining the golden tree there, but every time you get onto any new map, they will always explain all of the instructions. Oh god damn, man. Um, so the reason we're going to see Ferris is because, like I said, we needed a gem of happy sunshines or something like that. Find a golden tree. Uh, and Ferris is a gem thief. What? Why are we going uh, into the bad part of town? <laughs> We're going to the pawn shop. This is me with my treasure eyes. Oh, look at this. You'll never escape me, unexplained collectibles. Remember, kids, gem thieves are valuable people to trust and buy shit off. 
Now Ferris hates business, so he locks his door with a game of Mahjong. <laughs> what? Also, look at how fucking fast I am at Mahjong. I said that right. <laughs> I said that right when I stopped going fast. Well, look at how fast I am up these four fucking Mahjong pieces. <laughs> I think later in the game I get faster. Okay. I don't understand why a guy who's like. <sighs> When you come inside, it looks like it's a store, so I don't understand why he has an elaborate lock. That's not elaborate. To go into the blacksmith, you first have to solve a go puzzle. Here's Ferris. Well, hello. Um, hello. We're looking for something. A gem of ice. You found it. A gem of ice, huh? If you can fix my mouth, sure! I don't know <laughs> ice, but last year a man came I've lost all articulation in my fingers. Blue as ice. He hid the gem in a treasure chest. So Ferris tells us that he's seen the gem and but someone hid it somewhere else. Why? What is the point? Oh, this is contrived the game, by the way. Um so Ferris tells us that he has a map to where the ice gem is, of course. Well, you can't buy it, but I am willing to play you for it. This is the best. A game. Listen when he explains Wait, the game. You get the map. How about it? Okay, I'll play your game, Ferris. Now listen to this explanation. The map is up on the shelf at the top. You can see there's lots of other items on the shelf. <laughs> Look at that arm. <laughs> Just wait, just wait. Off the shelf, it's yours. If the map touches any of the items, you lose. But I'll let you try again. <laughs> he just tells us he'll give us infinite tries to get his map. I'm sorry, I had to wake my arm up. I had lost it in Vietnam. <laughs> so you have to click and drag that map at the top left through the whole maze uh, without touching anything. Seriously? Yeah. That's it? F fuck yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh. For some reason, it stopped getting registered that I was clicking. Look at that sweet katana. Can we get that, too? We won the map. Great job. Congratulations, Annika. Congre Ferris is just like, well, maybe I should have thought of something tougher than that. Congratulations. You don't know how 3D Dimensions works, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that, uh... We have our map. I don't remember if I check it or not. I check it at some point. I think I tried to get like a nice last view of this beautiful saint scenery. Well, time to get out of the slums of this town. Find a golden tree, and when it flashes, I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. Oh yeah, so I tried to proceed without everyone. Can't go in here alone. Get back on Brietta. Get back on your sister, Steven. Please tell me this was actually made in like the Baldur's Gate engine or something. <laughs> I wish. Alright, so you can see all the locations we're going to go to. And on the bottom right is the number of collectibles we have. And on the top right is the outline of the three things we're trying to collect that will go together to make the Wand of Magic juice or whatever. And with that though, we've got our map. We've got our very clear and not contrived objectives. And it's time to go into a, I don't know, another spooky forest. <laughs> so dumb. Oh god.